Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O'Ray team with an overview of the WHD 330K 1080p HDMI sender and receiver kit. This product was designed to make it very easy for you to share any HDMI media source with a second location up to 100 meters or 330 feet away over a wireless connection in full HD quality. The product also employs the very latest in 5G transmission technology to minimize interference and guarantee the best possible picture. Also included with the kit are a set of infrared blasters that will pick up the remote control signals at that second location, transmit those back to the primary location to allow you to control the content you're watching. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll list the audio and video standards of product and support. I'll take a closer look at all the components and explain exactly what they do. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install the product here to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find the transmitter module, the receiver module, a pair of antennas for both of those modules, two power supplies, one for each of the modules, a set of brackets you can use to mount the modules up off the ground to the bottom of a desk or a wall nearby, and the infrared blasters are included as well. These are used to transmit that remote control signal from the secondary location back to the primary. There's a receiver and a transmitter over here. And then finally, a full instruction manual that gives you all the information you'll need to install the equipment at home. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll go through the audio and video standards of product and support, and then we'll take a closer look at each of the components so I can explain what they do. The O-Ray WHD 330K works great with all modern media devices, including laptops, streaming devices like Apple TV, home surveillance systems, game consoles, and DVD players. The product supports full HD 1080p 60Hz content, it is both HDMI 1.3 and HDCP 1.2 compliant. The sender module provides local loopback of media content, and the kit also includes a set of IR blasters to enable remote control of the media being played. Included with the kit is a sender module, a receiver module, a pair of antenna, one set for each of the modules, and these are simply threaded onto the antenna studs in the back of each of the modules. Two power supplies, these are standard DC 5-volt power supplies. This end plugs into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it that plugs into the back of the module. And that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. Also included is a pair of brackets that can be used to mount these in a convenient location. And a pair of infrared blasters that are a little bit different. There's a receiver and a transmitter, and they're labeled infrared in and infrared out. And it's important you plug this one into the receiver and this one into the transmitter. Finally, there's a full instruction manual that lists all the information you'll need to know on how to install the product once you get it home. There are diagrams for connections and all kinds of information about what audio and video standards of product can support. Both modules were designed with full metal enclosures to prevent any outside interference from causing issues with the sensitive transmission technologies inside. On the sides of the modules, you'll find holes that can be used with the included mounting kit. And even though both modules look fairly similar in their design, there are slight differences with the connections you'll make to the sender module and the receiver module, and I'll cover those now. On the front of the sender module, you'll find a single reset button that can be used if needed to reset the module and re-establish communication with the receiver. On the rear of the module, you'll find two antenna mounting studs. These are used with the included antennas. You'll thread those antennas on here just finger tight. On the left is a DC 5 volt connection. That's used with the included power supply. You plug it into the wall, the barrel connection plugs in here, and that's all the power you'll need for the module. There are also two HDMI connections, input and output. The input connection is connected directly to whatever media device you'd like to share with the secondary location. Could be a DVD player or a game console. You'll plug that in here. To the right of that's an output connection. This module features a local loopback function where you can actually watch that media content you're transmitting to the secondary location by plugging a monitor in right there. There are two LED indicators between those HDMI connections. The one on the left indicates that you've got a valid input source, so when you plug that into whatever media device you'd like to transmit to the second location, that will light up. The second is a transmission indicator. The minute both of the modules are powered up and they're connected, that will light up. To the right of that is an infrared out port, and that's used with the IR blaster pair, and it's really important you use the module from that IR blaster pair that's labeled infrared out. Now let's take a look at the receiver. Again, on the front of the module, you've got a reset button just like you did on the sender. On the rear, two antenna studs, again, used with the pair of antennas, finger tight. DC power supply plugs in there. 
Two indicators to the right of that, two LED indicators. This lets you know you've got a valid transmission connection between the two. And this indicator lets you know you've made a solid connection between the HDMI output port, which is located to the right of it, and the monitor you're going to use at that secondary location. And then finally, the infrared import that's used with the other module in that infrared blaster pair. You'll plug that in there and again, make sure it's labeled infrared in. For this demonstration, on this side of the table, I'm simulating the primary location in your home where you're currently enjoying content you'd like to share with a second location. And right now, I've got a media player connected up to this monitor through an HDMI cable, and I'm looping a video that I'll use as the content I'm going to broadcast to the second location. I've got the sender module over here. On this side of the table, I'm simulating that second location in your home where you'd like to enjoy the content from the primary location. And I have the receiver module over here. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are to the sender module, and I'll start with the media source. So I'll disconnect the media player from the back of the monitor. Again, an HDMI connection. I'll plug that into the HDMI input port on the back of the sender module. Now I'll add power. I've already plugged it into the floor. I've got the other end of that cable, the barrel connection, and I'll slide that in the back of the module. Now, the minute I add power to this, a few things are happening. The unit itself is going through a power on self test to check all the internal electronics to make sure everything is working fine. It's also checking the resolution of my source to determine what kind of adjustments need to be made to give you the best possible picture over transmission. The third thing it's doing is starting up the wireless connection and looking for the receiver. So it's sitting there, sending out a signal, looking for a synchronization from that receiver. Now we'll connect up the receiver on the other end. I've got a short HDMI cable to this monitor. I'll connect that up to the HDMI output port on the back of the receiver, and I'll add power. Again, I've plugged it in already. Now, the minute I plug power into this unit, it's going through a similar power on self-test, but it's also checking the resolution of the monitor, again, to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture, and it's starting up its wireless network looking for the transmitter. So it's going to take a couple of seconds, and they're going to find each other, and you'll see the video pop up over here. Now, while that's happening, there we go. While that's happening, there are a couple of other nice features that this unit provides, one of which is a loopback function. So while I'm transmitting that content to the second location, I can still enjoy it at the primary location by simply adding another HDMI cable. So I've got a HDMI cable here. I'll plug one end into the monitor, the other end into the HDMI output port over here. And what'll happen is you'll see the same information being broadcast here that's being transmitted to that secondary location. So you can actually enjoy the same content at the original location that you're sending to the second location. The third feature, which I think is really nice, is the inclusion of these infrared blaster kits that allow you to send infrared signals from that secondary location over that same 5G wireless network back to the primary location. So the infrared in receiver here plugs into the back of this, the IRN connection, and this is what picks up the infrared signals from the remote controls and then transmit those over that same 5G network. On this end, it's the IR out connection that actually broadcasts those IR signals to whatever device you're using in this end. In this case, that's that media player. So it allows you to actually control the content you're watching at that secondary location. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray WHD-330K HDMI Media Extender Kit helpful. The product makes it very easy for you to share all of your media content with a second location up to 100 meters or 330 feet away over a wireless connection in full HD quality. The product also employs the latest in 5G transmission technologies to minimize interference between the transmitter and receiver and guarantee the best possible picture. Also included with the kit are a set of infrared blasters that will transmit the infrared signals from the second location all the way back over that wireless connection to the primary location so you can actually control the media you're watching. That's it for today, so until next time, thanks for watching.